It's been spotted. We're heading in this direction. We're sneaking up on it. All right, well today we are sitting outside the Goodwill in Lemoyne, Pennsylvania. Um, we're going to be doing something a little bit different today. We're going to be shopping as usual uh, to see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit, but we're going to be shopping for a very specific reason. I have decided to give whatnot a try. Um, it's a live selling platform. So it's like live sales, but it's its own platform. Um, I've included links down below if you wanna sign up and check it out. So everything we buy today in this video um, is going to be available for sale on whatnot. Andrew and I talked and we're going to have a whatnot sale on January 8th, January 8th. Um, at 7 p.m. Eastern um, is the time that we decided. Um, so if you want to go over to Whatnot, I think there is a way that you can um, set a reminder for that sale. Let's go shopping and see what we can find to sell in our Whatnot sale. Here we go. All right, well, I've got my coffee all strapped in. <laughs> Hopefully it's safe. It looks like we've pretty much got the place to ourselves, which is really nice. It's earlier than I usually get here, which I kind of like. Um, they've got lots of Halloween out, so you guys know I'm a sucker for the Halloween. <laughs> I don't know if I really need any Halloween now, though. It's almost Christmas. There's a foil sailboat. Kelka. 10.59. Cal... Kafka. <laughs> I can't read. Kafka to produce this beautiful Kafka screened etching. Interesting. I don't know. Joyous Noel. Well, those are kind of fun. Um, so I believe that this is intended to hang on the tree. Well, I I think that the beads have actually come unstrung, which is a shame because I actually saw that and I thought that would look awesome on my Christmas tree. We set up our Christmas tree last night, um, our inside Christmas tree. You guys have seen our outdoor Christmas tree, but just last night we set up our indoor Christmas tree. Oh wow, look at this Santa. He's something special, isn't he? What is that? Oh, it's Mary Engelbright. Wow. That is something special. Yikes. Yeah, we should look that one up for $4.99. <laughs> That's fantastic. Now, I do have to keep in mind um, that the Whatnot sale is going to be January 8th. So that's going to be after Christmas. Um, this may be something that I hold on to. Um, I don't know if that would necessarily be a good thing to sell in January. Actually, to be honest, I don't know why I'm <laughs> even looking through Christmas at this point. I just can't help myself. This is crazy, but I think I remember that these things are actually worth money. These silly Hallmark things. September 10. <laughs> I remember my brother had one of these when I was a kid and I thought it was so obnoxious. I don't know, I'll stick it in here and look it up, I guess. What in the world is that? Oh, it's, a, <laughs> it's like a spray painted gourd or something. <laughs> I think it was art pottery. I was excited for a minute. Here's a little bit of Avon. Charlie Brown bubble bath. Oh, that's fun. Snoopy, Lucy, Charlie Brown. That is actually really fun. It's a shame that the stickers are all starting to peel. That is contemporary. What is this? Looks like a Moravian star. North Pole Express salt and pepper shaker, it looks like. Here is some cottage wear. 
I can't tell if that's English or Japan. I guess if I had to guess, I would say it's probably Japan. And I like the glaze on this, but I turned it over and it says, do not microwave, hand wash only. Um, I guess, um, I don't know. Is that a, I don't know, is it a spoon rest maybe? It's possibly a spoon rest. I don't know, I'm not really seeing much. These are art glass, but, oh, what is that? Hand painted by Park Designs. Hmm. Kind of has a red bar look to it, but it is not anything special. This is um, Williamsburg reproduction. It looks like. Okay, it's been spotted. We're heading in this direction. We're sneaking up on it. We're gonna snatch it off the shelf. Ready? Snatched. All right, two ninety nine. Um, this is blue opalescent. Hey, what's up? How are you doing? I like the looks of this one. What is this? American Greetings Corp. $2.99. Oh, she's just really fun. <laughs> I guess she's got a gift or a package. For $2.99. I think we'll grab her. There's another one here. American Greetings. Oh, what, are, what did we run into? Oh, boy. I got that one. And then I think... This one here is another one. I wonder what she's telling that frog. <laughs> Happiness is found in little things, $2.99. She's like, you stay. <laughs> I don't know, I used to play in lots of ponds when I was a kid and that never worked. Coffee. Three quarters liter, I guess. Now the rubber on that is kind of worn out. I don't know, I think I might grab that for now and then We'll see at the end. Okay, well, Andrew just called me and I got a little bit distracted. Um, <laughs> I found some key balls. <laughs> you guys are like, what are key balls? Maybe you saw the video, maybe you didn't. The last time I saw these key balls, um, I forget where I was, but I passed them up and a lot of you in the comments were like, oh my gosh, those key balls were amazing. I wish you would have bought those, but I didn't. And um, here we are. This is the second time I've seen these. And this time, I've put them in my cart. We, we have acquired the key balls. Um, and I also grabbed this. I don't know, I'm kind of on the fence with it. What is it marked? I didn't even look at the marking. I was on the phone with Andrew and I'm just grabbing stuff willy-nilly. Um, this is Royal Sealy. What's the price? $4.99, I feel like we could still make a bit of money on that. Yeah, we could put that on our whatnot sale. Um, now, I did want to take you down here because there's something interesting down here. So, we have this grouping of China, right? This does not go with this. I think this might be RS Prussia. I'm actually really curious about it. <laughs> what is this? This is Homer Lachlan. Okay. This to me looks German. And I really kind of want to sneak it out of there. I, I don't want to ruin their beautiful packing tape job, but I really want to know. <laughs> like, it's $9.99. Oh, man. I'm pretty certain that's RS Prussia. Do I want to buy the whole thing for $9.99? I don't know. I think I might stick it in my cart. Here is a block crystal bowl shaped like a hat, which is kind of neat. I like the threading on that. Um, <laughs> what does it say? Sarah Art Glass Hat, made in China. I don't know, I kind of like it, but I've got a lot of stuff in my cart right now. I think for now I'm gonna keep walking and see what else I can find. Here is a beautiful vase. I don't know, the transfer is kind of odd on that though, isn't it? It's like cut off a little bit. Oh, it's not a vase at all. It's a former lamp. <laughs> That's nice though. <laughs> Here's, another. Here's another pretty lady. I don't know though. It looks like somebody got a hold of the blue nail polish. <laughs> I don't know about that. What is this? this Starbucks? Hmm. I don't know if that one's Starbucks or not. 
really like the looks of this teapot. Hand wash only did on the microwave. I don't know, I like the dots on it, but I know there's really no indication of who makes it. That's made in China. Reminds me of that surplus of Easter stuff at the Lancaster Goodwill. I guess those are just decorative houses. They look like maybe threshold. Tag on the bottom has been painted black as well. What is this? That is weird. I don't know what's going on here. It like wants to be cut to clear, but there's a seam, and the only part that's really cut away is right here. Kind of strange. I don't think it's really anything special. It's kind of adorable. <laughs> of course it's Avon. Small World Cologne Mist. Fiftieth anniversary. I love these pieces, but I just don't see them selling for very much, unfortunately. What is going on here? At first I thought he was shaving him, and then I'm like, huh? What are you doing? Made in Japan, $9.99. It's definitely vintage. Looks vintage. I guess this. Oh, it's a good thing that was taped on because I just turned that over without even thinking that would be uh, <laughs> not attached. All right. I'm going to just walk away from that. BMA made in Oklahoma house. Sweet little eagle, it looks like. Calorie free if dunked in coffee. Never thought of it that way. I'm not gonna be able to do that one handed. Huntington Townhouse. I do like this primitive looking cat, but it looks as though it was broken. I would say it probably has some age to it. Primitive in style. I do like it. But it was very sloppily repaired, and I think that's why I'm hesitant to take it with me. What is this? Mainstays. I thought maybe those would be vintage. Hmm. Oh, that was spray painted. Painted gold. You can see it uh, has overspray on the cord. Hey, look who we have down here. I think that's a basset hound, right? Maybe the other one was a baby basset hound, and I'm just confused about my dogs. Universal Statu Statuary Corporation. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I want to pick this one up for Donna as a donation to a. Uh, or Basset Hound Rescue. $4.99. We'll stick that in there. She may be able to get a little bit for that in her auctions. Um, I went to look down here. This, oh, that's a, a food bowl. That's cool. It's got kind of a mid-century style to it. Um, it's a little too small for Hank though. Hank is a big dog and he likes to eat. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I just found all of her friends, all of their friends. All of their friends are just hanging out here on the shelf. We've got bisque fired friends and we have regular friends. This one has a little bit of a chip there. Oh, they're so sweet. I don't know what it is about these figurines that I'm attracted to, but I, I maybe it's the freckles. Maybe I'm like, your freckles are really cute and I like you. <laughs> they also have critters though, it could be the cats. I feel like those are just adorable. 
feel like since we grabbed the other ones, we have to grab them all. I think those should do all right on one, huh? I mean, from watching other people's sales, the figurines can do pretty well. So let's grab these figurines, shall we? There's another figurine over here, but she's kind of... I don't know. I, her eyes are weirding me out. She doesn't, and she doesn't have freckles, so we're just gonna walk away from her. <laughs> I feel a little bad. I feel like I hurt her feelings, but she's a figurine. She doesn't have feelings. There's a stage coach. I feel like that matches those other um, those other dishes we looked at earlier. Candlestick holder. Don't judge me, but I'm going to buy a vintage laundry basket. I don't see a price on it, though. Do you see a price on it? I don't know. But um, <laughs> I love buying these laundry baskets for carrying stuff to the car. Since our Goodwills do not have plastic bags anymore. Uh, they have reusable bags, but I like using the laundry baskets to carry stuff. So I was a little bit curious, and I had to look up this <laughs> these key balls. <laughs> like, what what is the deal with these things? They're decorative, obviously. Looks like a pair of them sold for a hundred dollars. <laughs> what? That's insane. I never would have thought. But here, down here, one sold for twenty bucks. So they're like kind of all across the board, but that's just nuts. I'll never pass up another key ball. Let me tell you that. Here is some antique Bristol blue glass. Probably would have had a stopper though. The stopper's missing and the, um, the paint is worn off. Such a bummer. So I'm not gonna bother with it, but it is, I love that blue. I noticed this piece of furniture from behind. It's kind of sweet, 1999, but it has splitting. Pretty rough shape splitting here as well. Mm. Yeah, I think it's a little worse for wear. Here are some mid-century style lamps for $7.99 each. There's a pair of them. It's a vintage plug. Those would look really cute with some fiberglass shades. I don't know. Hmm. Do I need to sell a pair of lamps for my whatnot sale? Probably. It would make sense. <laughs> Let's shove them in there on top of the RS pressure. Ooh, I see a SpongeBob lamp. Right, well, when I first got here, it's like I had the whole place to myself, and now this place is so ridiculously crowded, I'm ready to bail. <laughs> I can't handle it. Um, so I think I'm going to do a cart review. I'm going to look up, um, this Santa in here. I'm debating whether or not to leave behind this set of china. I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence about it. I mean, is it really worth it for a sugar? I mean, the platters and stuff are nice, but, um... I don't know. I don't know if it's really worth it. All right, so I've looked up this musical snowman, and this is what I'm talking about. Check this out. Hallmark Jingle Pals. Is it going to focus? $349 for this one, okay? Some of these can be worth a lot of money. So, don't pass them up. <laughs> Obviously, this is not the one that we have. We have one with a snowman. I mean, one with a um, Christmas tree. I guess that's the one I want to look for. Is the one with the oven. All right, I'm going to switch up my keywords. So the one that I have sells for about 75 and uh, 60 with tags. 59, 50 with tags. So, I don't know, I'm looking about 45 bucks for that silly thing. <sighs> Alright, you can stay. <laughs> I think the Christmas stuff is probably um, going to be buy it now. And I think that 
maybe you can do buy it now on whatnot i'm gonna have to look into that um this i'm debating oh there is a chip you know what? i'm gonna have to check this over a little bit more closely for chips and cracks um the figurines definitely gonna be in my whatnot sale lamps or whatnot um key balls can go up on whatnot this copy thing is great oh i forgot about this <laughs> She's just fancy. She can go on one done. Um, this will be um, a donation to the Basset Hound Rescue. And I think that's it. And I forgot that we have some Fenton down under there. It's okay. Everything will be fine. Everything's fine. Um, now, I did look up this Mary Englebright. Um, and new in the box, it sells for about 50 to 70 it was kind of like a wide range there. This one has some condition issues. So I'm debating whether or not to throw it back or I'll hold on to it. I think I might hold on to this one. Stick it in my Christmas stash until the next year. Um, I think that's that might be where that one goes. So, All right. I think that's, that's our haul for today. I think that's it. Although, they did just be a lot of fresh card. Ooh, that's kind of pretty. $2.99. I don't remember that being on the shelf. I think I'll take that with me. $2.99. Gotta check the handle though. These applied handles. Like, sometimes they can be a little iffy. This one's sturdy. It's good. I'm also right here. Uh, it has a tendency to break. So gotta run your finger over that and hope that it doesn't cut you. <laughs> We're good. Right, well, I'm glad I decided to hang around because um, they are restocking the shelves. This looks uh, like an American bisque, maybe? I don't know. Um, it is a kitty planter. Um, it's a buck ninety-nine. Not super high resale value, but it's pretty sweet. And uh, they just rolled out a new cart. Alright, well this cookie jar just got placed on the shelf. And that is Fantastic, $4.99, it's like a wooden crate of cookies. Uh, the sticker looks like it's left in. $4.99, heck yeah. That can go in my whatnot. Look at this, we have a nice little mix of things now. Also, I almost forgot my coffee. <laughs> now it's cold. I've been shopping so long, my coffee has gotten cold. Observant Virgo Warrior. Wait a second, is that me? <laughs> I thought I was like, warrior. Yeah, that's me. Wait, no, that says warrior. Okay, I see how this is. I went to grab I'm like, what is this? Oh, it's like a cake with a flower on it. All right, well, our total spend there at the Goodwill was $115. Um, I did end up putting two items back when I got to the checkout. One of those was the suspected RS Prussia Sugar Bowl. Um, the platters that came with it were just a little bit too chipped up, and I just I didn't feel comfortable at $10. So I put that back, um, and I also put back that Mary Engelbright Santa that I was really excited about when I first walked in um, because it did have a chip out of the roof that I missed. Maybe you saw it in the video when you were yelling at me through the screen. Um, I did catch it there at the end, so I put that back. Um, but other than that, I purchased everything in the cart, and those items will be available on our January 8th whatnot sale. Um, that'll be at 7 p.m. Eastern, and I am looking forward to it. Um, Andrew has hosted a few sales on whatnot already. Um, he's sold coins on whatnot, so he's kind of paved the way, and he is going to be instrumental in walking me through my first live sale. Um, so I'm really looking forward to it. Um, now, I am going to include some links down below in the description. Um, one link is going to be if you want to become a buyer on whatnot. If you have not already, I know and a lot of other resellers um, have already jumped on the whatnot bandwagon. I don't know. <laughs> um, but if you want to give whatnot a try and become a buyer like I have, um, I've made a few purchases off of whatnot. Um, this is me becoming a seller, finally. Um, but I have been a buyer for a while, and now I'm finally taking that leap into becoming a seller. Um, if you want to become a buyer, there is a link for that. Um, and if you want to become a seller, there is also a link for that. Um, now, these are affiliate links, so I do receive a small commission um, if you do decide to go either of those routes. Um, and 
the small commission does go towards supporting this channel um, at no cost to you. So I do appreciate that. Um, now, I am going to end the video here, but in a week or so, uh, we are going to go to the shop and we're going to pick some more items for the whatnot sale because obviously what we've picked out today at the Goodwill is not going to be enough to sustain whatnot sale. So we'll pick up some more items, um, things that I've had laying around, maybe buy it now items that we've had sitting on the shelf for a while and um, it'll be good. So um, I will see all of you tomorrow. So long. It's nothing new, but it's so good to see you.